Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Prince Kratos, and welcome to Beholder. See, see what I'm doing here. See what I'm doing here. New game. We're starting over again. Wait a minute. Experience the original game atmosphere with difficult choices and challenges. Though period in the state reduce key costs and increase income. Oh. Oh, what am I doing now? I would love this because it's really hard, but let's let's try the challenging one. Because this will be more fun to watch. She's gonna say everything Dear that's in Karlstein, there. We are happy to announce you've been appointed See, I probably have seen this before and uh, I I decided to start again because uh, I was still learning things while uh, I haven't to play for so long uh, in between sessions I forgot some stuff and every time I came back I was there was still trying a uh, learning period and then trying to do better and just couldn't work so I just put it all together and start an new and this is now a regular series every Wednesday till we finish it and uh, I don't know if it's if it's really that long. It could be near the end. I don't know. But uh, the other playthrough was going really bad, so I decided to start over again. And uh, playing each week and every week, it will be much easier to just stay focused. Remember what's happening. Remember what what we've done. Uh, what our decisions were, and everything. So, right now we're taking this guy's uh, place. The, he's getting beat up by the government. Because he did a bad job. And we gotta be that uh, that place's landlord. We're gonna spy on our neighbors. Oh, by the way, I forgot. This week's special beholder is the Eye of Frost. So Eye of Frost scenery. Beholder here. Very festive beholder. Because of the snow. Shut up. My dear Beho. <laughs> you bitch. So I was wondering what got what, what me through deciding to to do this is I needed money. Welcome Lots of it. To the elite. Uh, if, you, if you've seen the last episodes, uh, you've seen that I needed money for my son, for my daughter. And there wasn't any way to get that much money. So I was trying to find a way. And there were a lot of ways and a lot of things I didn't do to get money. And uh, w w everything I know about these uh, tenants, I can uh, report it and I get money for that. Not not even if it's uh, not only if it's uh, illegal, just whatever I know. If it's illegal, I can uh, blackmail them to give me money, but that's another story. So now that we know, now we can do more. Now we can play the game and see if I can gather that much money, because it's still gonna be hard. We'll see. I'm not gonna blackmail all the good times. I'm gonna I'm not gonna play like I know what's hap what's happening. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? We're merely driving past out of the house. Okay, we've seen that. Agree. As you wish. The predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. If a person occupying an important position can't cope with a simple task, there, there's only one outcome. He did that intentionally. He became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. Yeah, everything means everything. My reputation. Observe and record. That's my duty. Okay, uh, decline. I don't need the tutorial. I don't need your help, dude. Here's my journal. Thank you very much. Goodbye, my good sir. So, search the desk, find the cameras. That's easy enough. Desk is over here. Search for it. Come on, Carl. Cool. Cool. Uh, two cameras. Take all. There we go. Now, what do we do? We go back to this guy. Okay. Mr. Bruno, tell me, what, what, what is that? Oh, yes, Great, you found the cameras and sold them into the dining hall. Follow me. I don't need to follow, but I know the way. I'm not gonna play like I know what I'm doing, but... I'm just gonna skip this, because it's... It's the tutorial that... The mandatory tutorial, because I skipped the other one. Be thankful for that. Yes. Yep. Okay, done. Oh, and done. Yes, You're doing fine. Here's your first reward. Got reputation and money. I can use reputation to buy cameras. I can use money to buy everything else. And pay for whatever. So... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I shall... Uh, I should use the phone. When they call me, it will be a crime if I don't answer. So, got the dues. You get the deal. Okay. So, what do we have here? The boss said, call the ministry. Oh, the little girl! I am sad that she died. Oh, spoiler alert. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe... Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello, Carl! You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? Of course I am. Establish surveillance in apartment 2. Jacob Manischek lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the state shop. Only enter a tenant's apartment when they're not home and be careful. She should get all the other guys living. Hey, Bruno, wait! So, Manischek... Okay, search apartment 2. Manischek lives in apartment 2, so... Let me knock first to see if he's home. If he's home, just run! Nope, he's not there. Okay, get in. Before the, the, the other girl sees me, okay, search this. Search him, keep an eye on the bus because we, we will see him coming. Deck of cards, likes to come. See, that's red. I click it, I got it. I can steal it and uh, probably sell it. Maybe I can. Let me try this. Ah, stealing is bad though. We'll see, we'll see. I don't think about it as I search. And there's nothing here. Let's... Where am I? Ah, I don't have new cameras. I gotta buy cameras. Uh, I can buy two of these. Two of the smallies. Establish one there. And... Can I use establish? I don't even know. Uh... A broken bottle with a little skill. A broken bottle can be a dangerous weapon. Okay, let's make sure he's not coming. And nope. Okay, search the chair. Nothing here. Search the bookshelf. Now, uh, what's going on? Nothing here. Search the bed. New government directive. Okay, uh, nothing in the bed. Pause and read the directive. What, what does it say? The production of political propaganda is prohibited. Okay, it's illegal to harbor criminals and hide their actions. Okay. So that changes everything. When, oh, he's coming, run! Okay, okay, get out. Uh, that, that your door wasn't open, what are you talking about? Okay, let's, th oh, ba maybe other guys are not home. I could search. Let's knock on this door. Now that I have free time. I gotta call the ministry. Okay, let me call first, because this is the first mission I'll have time to do. It's 1st of September. Phone. Call the ministry. Come on, Coral. Uh, dial the number. Report the task. Ministry of Order. Congratulations. Your first task was a success. You are rewarded. Five hundred dollars and fifty reputation points. According to our sources, Jacob Manischek is violently violating state directives. Span him using surveillance cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gathered to your report. So, okay. Uh, we have to wait to gather some more evidence, but before I do that... There is something in here. Okay, uh, knock that, knock this door first, cause is there someone there? It will light up if there is one. So just not tell that someone's coming. Please no. Uh, oh, it's it's Manischek. Oh, they're coming. These are the guys live in apartment one, right? Yep. Okay, let me let me get to know them. Hey, Klaus. Hello! Get acquainted. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Kimmer. You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager was already turned into a junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Changing voices just to be... to feel fresh, to feel new. Ask about the apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right. It used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn into a boarding house for gifted children, but it was converted into a residence hall instead. 
This isn't so bad. You haven't seen the living quarters on level D. You're right. Our situation could be worse. At least we're free. One can play chess. Th that's a bad thing. Uh, I'm I'm clicking the the red thing to to save the play chess thingy. But I uh, oh, can't talk to her. But then then the the conversation is gone. Okay. Good afternoon. Get acquainted. Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new building manager. My name is Rose Aronic. It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. We have a son, too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. Get acquainted. Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah, let's ask about the son. Our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. Ask about the husband. Mark has been working on the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not too many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Click. <laughs> okay, so... Uh-oh. Uh, uh -oh. There we go. Drag sting. Got evidence. Now I can blackmail this guy or report him. First of all, first of all, there is a... Uh, a profile attendant before I send him away. Jacob Manishek lives in apartment 2. He's a male. He lives alone. His occupation is, I don't know, what's your occupation? Unemployed. He's unemployed and personal information. He likes to gamble, he likes to drink. I, I don't think I can do See, now I get $275 for this. And now I can report him. Uh, Jacob Manishek lives in apartment 2. Directive number, what's the direct number? Of drugs, 6039. 6039. From 1st September 84. Evidence is the druggies. Uh, where is he? The drugs. And sent. Now report him to the authorities. But I got. I could even blackmail him. I don't know if I want to. Because she's a son of a bitch. There it goes. There's the police. He's in there. Grab him. Grab him. He's a bitch and evil doer. The justice. Justice will be served. Can I come in? Can I go in? Can I go in with the policeman? <laughs> He's there. Get him. Grab him. He's getting bit up. Kick his ass. Woo! Police, police, police. Yeah. Hey, public serv- Public servant. Hey, public servant. Why aren't you in there deducting the share of this guy? Make it a handicap match. Whoop. Kick him again. There we go. Okay, what's in the mail? The son of the miners. Trade union leader was found unconscious after a criminal report pumped him full of drugs. He's been treated and rehabilitated at the hospital. The Ministry of Order advised citizens to be alert and interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next. Voice of truth. Drugs are a huge problem in our society. We shouldn't have started dealing with them a long time ago. Not wait for the VIP to get in trouble. By the way, this isn't the first time the well-known son has been at the center of a scandal. Was he really a victim? Well, who knows? For now, Manishek... He can't talk to me. Well, goodbye, man, Shek. Hope you rot in prison. Okay, so... Why is he struggling so much? Yep, got money. Money, money, money. Oh, no. I want to talk to Mark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Schemer. What do you want from the archivist? Get acquainted. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the building. Mark Runner is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. Ask about the wife. Rosa works in the cafeteria. Always in the kitchen. She loves baking bangs and cakes so much. She does it for a living. Click. I wish she didn't smell like garbage. Well... I have an iguana. I had an iguana that would love that, but... Hello. Okay, nothing more to say to you. I want to talk to your wife. What do you sell, Nathan? There's still a quest in there. What the hell? My compliments. Trade. 
What are you selling today? Take a look. I should steal the shit out of this guy and sell it. Okay, I don't need anything for you. Uh, why is there an exclamation point there? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, is this? No. Uh, what? Ah, uh, whoa, what's this? 274536. 274, pay it in repair apartment 2. 274536. Can I call that? Hmm. Is there an option to call? Dial the number. Oh. Did you confirm you complete the game? What? No. What the hell is complete the game? Oh, I lost by chance. Okay. Well then. Uh, the old guys are gone, so I can go upstairs and search their apartment. Everything's sunk in door. No one's in there. Get in there. No, don't knock. Get in there. You doofus, what are you doing? Get in there. The archivist and his wife. Apartment 3, okay, here, what do we have? The tiger bond book. Slut shot, passport, eyeglasses. Okay, nothing of interest here. Let's have some cameras in there. And buy some more while we're at it. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more over there. We gotta search everything. See, things change as the game progresses and more things become illegal, so I should come back and search again to find more stuff. Rare and expensive stamps, very valuable. So I could steal that if I wanted to. But these guys are good, I don't know, I don't want to steal from them. Though I didn't even want to steal from the bad guy. Must be rough. Dra draft, okay, ball of yarn. Okay, we got cool shit here. Uh, some more cameras. There. Why am I... Why am I prioritizing the room of uh, two old guys? I mean, like, you never know, right? I could be... Oh, she's coming. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay. So, what about this? We have 500, okay. Let's repair it. Rosa! There's nothing to tell you. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Uh, what's new here? It's illegal to read or own a book by Paul Williams. And all apples must be destroyed. Okay. That's becoming, becoming weird. Oh! I, I repaired the wrong apartment. Jesus, I'm stupid. Okay, so apartment two. What can I do? Move in. I allow Shishpak and Hones Papapanedo. Okay, let's go with the Locious because last time we chose him. And I haven't talked to my wife. What, Carl? Talk about work. So the police march and handcuffed the person right by me. It frightened me. Who was that, Carl? He was building manager. He didn't handle his duties well. What a nightmare. Carl, couldn't the same thing happen to you? Don't worry, honey. You won't be dead when this happens. I mean, uh, uh, I'll be a good manager. How about your daughter? Martha, will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Ask about the house. Do you like a new home? I like him very much. He's big, and you? I like him too. We have three rooms. We used to have just one. Moreover, we have a TV! Will we take- will they take our TV, Dad? No, honey, nobody will take it. Patrick says that- I didn't even read that. Okay, I'm sorry. Patrick says something. Patrick! Yes, father? Think about work. I don't like your new job, father. Your boss is nasty. Do you like getting good food and studying at the university? Wear new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. I'll never take. I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. I hope so. I hate the mines, father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. Uh, talk about the work. Ah, uh, that's the same thing, okay. Uh, talk about the mines. Have you changed your mind about the miner? About being a miner? I hate the mines, father. I'd rather die. Okay, I'm news. 
Uh, haven't missed a single class. To be honest, I didn't think you could secure a place in the university for me. Be a diligent student, son. That place costs a lot. I won't let you down, father. I'm trying to help around the house. Played with Martha recently, so okay. Good job, son. Good. Job. Why is he cry? Why is she crying? What's Alocious? He should have the same voice. I mean, like, it's the only one that. Yeah, he, he, he won't talk to me. Why, Alocious? Why won't you talk to me? What have I done? Okay, let's knock on this door. Is your wife home? Oh, she's. I need to call the ministries. I don't have uh, an hour limit there, so. Oh, whoa, whoa. There we go. Got something. He likes to drink. Hey, Maria. Hello. Get acquainted. Hello, my name is Coral. I'm the new building manager. It's nice to meet you. I'm Maria Skimmer. Did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. Uh, that's it? Okay. Okay, no problems, Maria. Uh, let me call the ministry. What was with this thing? With a... With a mailbox. Dial the number... No. Damn it! Uh, should call the ministry, right? Ministry of Order, congratulations, your task was a success. As a, as a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. One thousand dollars and two hundred and fifty reputation. If you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Even if you're dying, you should answer the phone. Uh, gotta check on Schemer now. Find out what other people think about him. Documents, characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. So, Patrick has a quest now. Patrick. Yes, father. Talk about... Do you need anything? I have an issue, father. What do you want? Economic classes have started and we were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore, but they don't have these books. I heard I could I could yet used one on, used ones on the market, but they cost a fortune. Could you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know who has these books. I, I you talk to wise people. I'm thinking about what I can I'm thinking about what I can do for you. I will have your books, don't worry, son. New directive. What now? What fresh up? Singing in front of the Ministry of Order is now prohibited. So, okay. Uh, wait, uh, uh, no, wait. Okay, then let's talk to Alocious. Alocious! Hello! Meet. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Coral, the landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Alocious Spack, a physician. You've heard about me, didn't I say it did? Yeah, of course I've heard. Please don't praise me, I was just doing my duty. Just doing my duty. Oh, <laughs> that's great and all, but uh, let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. Yes, very busy, very. How's it going? Are you okay? Oh, I'm uh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one, don't you doubt it. I can cure even a healthy man. I'd say especially healthy. <laughs> Any education? Are you kidding? I've dedicated my life to treating people. Your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. He gave me a whiskey. Okay, sure, thanks. Ask about Klaus Skimmer. Dearest Carl, I'm happy to see you. How are you doing? And how's the family? Everything is fine, thanks. I wanted to ask about so much joy. That's a rare thing nowadays. I'm soothing myself, Aloysius. I'm here to talk about Aloysius. You can't keep worrying about the whole world. The state take care, takes care of us, but your neighbor, but no, no. I keep worrying about our neighbors. I mean, I mean, all people, you know. Oh, so, so sorry, I got carried away. What did you want to talk about? But Klaus Schemer from apartment one. I just moved in here, dear. I haven't even met all my neighbors yet. I'm sure they're all great people, and your um, Strauss Hiller is a great man too. Class Schemer. Of course. If only dear Mrs. Schemer smoked less. Smoking kills. Well, at least we got something about you. And the conversation. I don't need anything else from you. Rosa. Good afternoon. I want to ask you about Klaus Schemer. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. 
He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of Zers. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. Uh, okay. An expert in wine. So that's it from you two. Let's go upstairs. Uh, Mark Runner and Schemer's wife. So... Can I have Mr. Papaneda move in? Yeah, I can. So... <laughs> Why wait? Uh, is anyone home there? Mr. Mrs. Schemer. Actually, need to, to talk to you both, so... No problem. Whoever... Oh, the other sleep. What time is it? I'm sorry, I have a pill that I don't get to sleep. We've covered this. I loved it. Wish that was real. There's something burning. <laughs> Smells like it. I don't know. If you see me... If you see fire behind me, just... Uh, scream. Hello. Ask about books for Patrick. You're an educated person, Klaus. Where can I find textbooks on economics? The university gave my son a list of books to read, but none of the stores carry them. The library is an option, but the line is always really long. Where do you live? All this here in the library is well known to me. You're yeah, not just the line. The library workers also have to like you. Otherwise, they'll send you away without any explanation. But I can help you. I have books for when I worked with an accounting bureau. I'd be happy if they helped your son study. Everyone should pursue a higher education. Too bad few people agree. You got the books. Not only my son, but my wallet too. Thanks, probably. Uh, ask about suspicious... Clouds are piling up. I'd probably be accused of selling anti-government tobacco. Are you mixed up with everything? With anything? It's all about the apartment. I refused to give them up, but I was accused, accused of horrible things. Hmm. All the best, Carl. So yeah, you get the point that this guy is innocent, and uh, you get to choose why you wanna, if you wanna, uh, turn him in or uh, try to save him. That's what we're trying to do. I don't need anything from you. Uh. So Martha with the lotion is down there. Is there anything else I can do? I don't think so. Let's let's pass some time forward. Oh, there's a quest down there. My wife has it. Anna. Let's see. What's up? Anna. What, Carl? I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny, and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan? Don't even think of this. We must have left it in your old house. If you say so. Can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about the saucepan. Sure, that's not that important. Uh, okay, so these guys are in there. I can see them. Alocious just got in his home. So let's go file something. To get some money out of this. Uh, we still have 40 hours to complete the other quests, so we're fine. Okay, get in there. Profile a tenant. So, how about uh, Rosa Rannick? Rosa Rannick, living in an apartment. Where do you live? Apartment. Damn it. Back. Uh, Rosa Rannick, apartment 3. She's a female. She's married to Mark Runner. Maranek. And she's what? Cafeteria cook. Yeah, okay. You told me that. And she likes to cook. Oh, that's a profile. Okay, she likes to cook. She's writing a novel. And she likes this. Send. See how much money I can make out of this. Let's profile Mr. Rannick now. Mark Runner. Rannick. She lives in apartment 3. He's a male. He lives with uh, Rosa Rannick. And he's an archivist. And personal for me, where are you, Mark? Uh, back here, apartment three. Okay, we're good. He likes to go fishing. He likes collecting stamps, and he drinks. Okay, more money. There we go. I've snitched them. I've snitched all of them. Okay, these guys. Are... Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Lost toy. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Naira. It's nowhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my doll. It's my favorite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? 
At home. No, it's too small to walk outside. Find her, please. Okay, I will, but first of all, I gotta go to the old people's house. Because it's empty again. They're both out. I have cameras in all the places, but... I, I think I had... I didn't search everything. Let's search the bed. Hmm. Schemer is gone. A comb, a watch, and a pocket watch. I could steal some stuff, but it says somewhere in a tip that if you steal... They can... Uh, if you steal things often... People are... The police is gonna get you. So, maybe I gotta steal from assholes, I don't know. I'll try to steal some from Mr. Papanedo. Okay, there's nothing here. I think, I think we're done with this. For now, at least. What's this? It's about you. Oh, collect some more evidence. Uh, let's uh, let's see if, if anyone's here. Just basically, if his wife is there, we gotta talk to his wife and to Mark. Oh, he left. Okay, there's no one here, so let's get in. Buy some cameras. Install them. So Alocius is downstairs. And the other the other people are gone, I think. Okay, let's install the cameras first. So I can have a, uh, an eye of what's happening. And we can start searching after that. Okay, now let's search. Uh, oh. Toothbrush, comb, watch, books, robe, razor. Nothing of any importance. Let me see if anyone's coming. Is anyone coming? Come on, boss. Oh, uh, Miss Schemer. Run, 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 run. Miss Schemer. Hello. Ask about the saucepan. Can you do me a favor? Can I borrow your saucepan? My wife wants to make a compote, and, but we lost our saucepan while moving in. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. Thank you. They're so nice, no, so nice people. Thank you. We'll bring it back. There's no need for this. My husband and I live alone. We don't touch this. Please accept this as my housewarming gift. You're so good. Rosa. No, we talked to Rosa. I need to talk to... To... Mark. Mark? There we go. What do you want from the archivist? Uh, saucepan, no latest news. Any news? The Ministry of Distribution is working out a plan for the next year. People say quotas for higher education have been reduced. The most popular department is mining. I guess some study mining too? Yes, we've been sent to the mining college, but we managed to secure a place in the university for him. He'll be an engineer. You're a catch! Uh, talk about Klaus Schemer. I want to ask about Klaus Schemer. What do you want to know? Uh, give a vogue grip, I don't trust you again. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker who has always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. What happened to him? He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Okay, so... Uh... Damn it. Uh... No, got the books. I didn't talk to Schemer's wife about Schemer. Damn it. Schemer's wife? Maria? And she will she was the one who was gonna answer me. Papanedo is sad. No, yes, Papanedo. Papanedo, why are you sad? There's a quest there, Malocious. Mm-hmm. Maria! Maria! Uh, like the husband. How's your husband doing? He looked upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Klaus likes taking photos. This will cheer him up. So that's it. Uh, so what else do we have? Okay, let's go talk to Alocious. Whoop! He plays the piano. Alocious. Hello! Do you want to talk? I have a request. A very private one. I'm all ears, Alocious. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing, and every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating quite profusely. What can I do? 
Get you some deodorant. Uh, smart as Carl. Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know a lot about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. Should be one woman to have in the bedroom and in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, any preference? Would you like? To, uh, who would you like to meet? Anyone? Uh, I I didn't have no. Who is she? Just kidding. That's cruel, Carl. You're playing with people's feelings. Sorry, that was the only option I had. So there are two things now that um. Let's talk to to Papanedo, and I'll I'll tell you. What do you want? Get acquainted. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the apartment building. John's Papanedo, Busan on call barge. Uh, should I give him? Should, should he be Italian or I'm calling him Papanedo, so he should be Spanish. Busan on call barge. I'm preparing for a long trip. You're sailing abroad. While I work as a trainee for the outside affairs committee, I live in your cell. What kind of training? This training is obligatory for everyone who travels aboard in business. We take an anti-propaganda training. Are you alone? Yes, I live alone. Uh, special offer? What's a special offer? I have a deal. Times are hard. Everyone is doing their best. I have canned fish. You know everyone around here. Find me a buyer and I'll pay you generously. Ask about the quality of the food. What kind of canned food is it? Good or the usual muck? It's the best quality. I've imported from abroad. It'll stack like hotcakes. But it's not safe for me to go to the market. I want to sell them quietly without drawing attention to myself. I found the canned food in the hall. Nobody used them. Rule one of the birds, if it's not if it's not nailed down, it doesn't belong to anyone. So I took as many as I could carry. Uh no. I'm not interested. Never mind. Cause I've done this and it's gonna cost me money, cause he's uh uh, his food is awful, so I'm not gonna waste money now. I'm trying to get as much as I can. So now we got this young, pretty, socially active girl who likes to meet a well to do man for a serious relationship. Call 237451. Call and you'll be glad you did. I kinda wanna know what happens, but last time I didn't do this, so I'm gonna do it now. Just to see what happens in, the, in that side, because we kind of explored the other story. It was it was a nice story, but let's see. Uh, dial the number. Yes. Yes. Hello. My name is Carl. I'm calling about your ad. Interesting. Tell me about yourself. Oh no no, that's not that's not that's for just for a friend of mine. He's a bit shy, so I'm helping him with a private matter. Are you ready to meet a great doctor? A doctor. What's his name? Aloysius Pack. Is he the one the newspapers mentioned? I need to think. Let me call you back in a couple hours. Okay? Thanks. I'll be waiting for your call. So, okay. I want to see what happens. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, Frosty. He suicided. Did I choose wrong and Frosty just... Oh, man. These are the signs. Frosty. Frost. Frosty. I'm lost. <laughs> what was I trying to say? He, he warned me. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Damn it, I hate when I get the Oberon. She got a PlayStation 4 controller and he just plays with it. Oberon, what are you doing? You should you should be asleep by now. You know that, right? I don't know. He's no harm. Uh, is anyone home? What do I, I need to find? I I got the books. I should give them to my son. The phone is ringing. The phone is ringing. Run, run. Run, dude! Wah! Answer it! Pick up the phone! Accept private call. Hello, Cara. I'm Clara. You called me a couple hours ago. I agree to meet you, Doctor. Give you my number and secret word. Strawberries with cream. Did you write it down? I'll be waiting for his call. Strawberries with cream? Ooh, she, she sounds like a cat, Salocious. Oh, that's... that's Hones Papanedo. Uh, okay, here's my son. He's trying to answer the door, right? Okay, let me talk to him, because it's, it's rude if I knock on the door and then just run away. So, no, we don't need anything. Just checking. Yes, father. Uh, ask about school books. Have you found anything about the books, father? Here are your books. Whoa, 
I'll get to work. I've never dreamed of such wealth. It might not go to the rat's nest after all. To the library, I mean. Okay, we got some more. Oh, he's happy. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I need to talk to Alocious. He's in there, right? I see, I see his leg. Alocious? Come on over here, Alocious. We need to have a few words. Oh, the, okay. Alocious. Hello. Talk about loneliness. Any re any preference? We've already... I found a girlfriend for you. Who is she? The girl from the ad. I can't wait to meet her. The number is 237451. Call her. She's waiting. I'll call her today, but I need to gather my courage first. Can you find me a chocolate bar? It's not okay to show up for the date empty-handed. I'm gonna buy you the chocolate... Uh, Jesus. My compliments. Trade. What do you send? Do I take a look? I need the chocolate bar. Make sure it's a chocolate bar. I don't wanna waste money for you, dude. Let's sell this. I'm not drinking. Uh, I should give him up. Oh, someone's drinking, someone's drinking. Click on it. What? Well, anyway. Uh... I need to give my wife the Alocious the chocolate and my wife the saucepan. Give her the saucepan first. What, Carl? Talk about the saucepan. Have you found a saucepan, Carl? I prepared everything for the compote. Yes, Maria Skimmer from apartment one saved us. Spared no sugar for the compote. It looked like water last time. It looks like water because we have neither sugar nor apples. It's not my fault that she couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Cheer up, sweetheart. Now we have enough sugar. Yay, okay, now I have lots of money, and uh, the doll is somewhere around here, if I remember right. <laughs> I think the seems now, there's a doll. Uh, that's an old doll, should, should it say Nyla? Uh, Walla. Why am I trying to spy on my family? It's just, she's asleep now, so nothing I can do. Oberon! He's crazy, I don't even know what he's doing. Whoop! You're smoking! Getcha! Smoking! But he's gone from his apartment. So let me buy a few cameras. I should have enough to buy... The more expensive ones, but I don't want to waste money now. Oh, 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 he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. No, he's going downstairs? Oh, no, no, he's coming here. Okay, good thing, good thing. Let's uh, knock on a Lucius. Knock, knock, knocking on a Lucius door. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, where are you, Lucius? He's gone? He must be at work. Knock, knocking on a Lucius door. Hey. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Well, we're cameras now. Uh, let's put the cameras. Let's see. The more cameras you you can check on their activities and uh, record them. And oh, there he is. He was washing uh, his clothes, whatever. Uh, it's not safe that I'm doing it. He's right there, but. A comb, a spyglass, and a book. Okay, he's not coming. Or maybe he is. Be quick. Be quick. Search the bed, ship model, and the towel. Leave now, leave now. And go upstairs to Papanedo, to Papanedo! He's gone! Fast, 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 fast. Papanedo has many legal stuff, I remember that from last time. I should talk to Alocious, but I don't have time now that Papanedo's gone. Oh, well, Lucius is living too. Uh, I don't have much time, no, Alocious. There's only one hour left. Oh shit! Oh man, ah, I lost the quest. There's only one hour left. He he went on the date without the chocolate. Oh, that's not gonna end well. Oh, I didn't give him it. Ah, damn it. And I spent my money on that. Jesus. Damn it. 
Doesn't matter if the other guys see me walking into all other apartments. I don't know. Oh, then have. Let's buy some. Who's coming? Oh, someone's in love. Alocious, Alocious lives downstairs. Yeah, Papaneda lives up here. All right. I'm not in his house. <laughs> Uh, what's in here? A passport, the blue shirt, and wine. Nothing illegal for now. Don't come back, Papanedo. Give me some time to search. A whiskey and jeans. No, okay. And some cameras here. Because I, wa I want to start with the little ones and uh, have cameras everywhere and then switch to the, to the larger ones. A book, a comb, oh, Papaneda. Papaneda's sad. Do I have time to search this before he comes? He's slow, so... Eyeglasses, oh, there we go. Okay, we got two shit. Get out of there. Let's go talk to Papaneda. What do you want? Let's go about You're leaving our house soon, do I have that right? Yes, we're about to leave. The badge is ready. We're waiting for the outside affairs committee to instruct the crew. Where are you heading? Through the bay and the south and toward the Nell Sea. Have you been to Sphere to Shear? No, the city? This is the largest trade port city. It's had free governance for the last decade. We'll stay in the port for a week to unload coal and take walks. Let's see then. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, what else do we have? Trust and care. Martha! I'm losing all the quests because I'm not paying attention and Martha is always asleep. Oh, I suck at this. I lost m much money now that I would could get out of that, but... Uh, so, okay, let's stay focused on that. That which hidden will be revealed, must profile Klaus Schemer. Uh, is there anything else? Is anyone here there? I think I know everything about Klaus Schemer, so just profile him. Come down here. I hate that uh, the hours keep going even when people are asleep because I can't wake them to give them the quest. With Alocious, I, I realized it last minute and he was leaving. Couldn't even stop him to give him the, the thing. Now that my daughter was asleep. Profile Lieutenant Klaus Schemer. He lives in apartment one. He's a male. He lives with Maria Schemer, and he's a tobacco salesman, right? Yes, he's a tobacco salesman. Personal information. Chess. This thing. Drinks. Likes photographs. Plays the piano. Woo! Money! Send that. Okay, now, let's profile Mr. Papanedo. Or Maria Schemer. She lives in apartment one. She's a female. She's married to Klaus Schemer. She's a, lit she's a teacher. I think so. Let me check. Yes, it literally. Sh I don't have anything on you. So, no Maria Schemer. Let's profile uh, Papanedo. He lives in apartment uh, 4. He's a male. He lives alone. He's an uh, coal barge. Right? This thing? Yes, okay. He smokes and he has this. True. Send that. Good, 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 good. Money. Anna! Hello, she's a quest. What, Carl? Learn about what happened. What happened? Martha is sick, Carl, and we have no medicine at home. Go find some aspirin for our... Can you find some aspirin for our girl? I waited in line forever only to find out I needed a prescription. Of course I'll find him. The, I'll find him? It's an aspirin, it's not a man. Do you have any news about Martha? No, just a fever, but I don't like how she feels. Okay, let's talk to Alocious. Uh, okay, that doesn't have a... Okay, I should pay more attention to the, to the hours that I have left for quests. Learn about what happened. Clara, the woman you introduced me to is wonderful. Can she move in with me? Uh, of course. Thanks, I'll pay you. Thank you very much. Uh, I need to talk to you again. Okay, you don't care. Uh, trade. Uh, do you have aspirin? You have aspirin. Oh, it's too expensive, though. Let me ask Alocious first, and then I'll talk to you. Why are you sad, Papanedo? 
Ooh, she looks cool though. Mr. Mr. Locious. I didn't give you the chocolate, but can you give me some aspirin? Uh, hey! Hey! I'm talking to you! But what? She got in the phone. Okay, let's uh, we still have 20, 27 hours, so. What do you want from the archivist? Lost glasses? I lost my glasses, Carl! I can't work in the archives without them. Help an old man out and look for him in the house. I either left them somewhere or lost them. They're just ordinary glasses, but I can't buy a pair without a prescription. Rose will go there tomorrow and take a provision card to the doctor. I can't wait a whole month. Okay, I'll search the house. Hurry, I could lose my job because of this. So... Okay, so you give me permission to search in your house? So I can wait to do it legally, right? Okay, check on the time. There are some glasses. No, 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 no! I didn't want to steal them. Apologize and leave. Ah. Uh, well. Uh, he needed the glasses. I don't even know what happened now. I lost some reputation. I didn't even get that. Uh, let me talk to you again. Can I see what happens? Mark Runner, what do you want from the archives? Talk about the glasses. How you find my glasses? I've searched the entire house and found nothing. Maybe someone has taken them. The police will find the guilty part faster. You can always call the police. Give me some more time. So I need to search for his glasses. Oh, Mr. Papaneda did it. Okay, we we don't. This is not a hurry. We're not in a hurry for this quest. So talk to Anna. Uh, Chocolate candy. I talked with our neighbors, Carl. They're really nice. I was told a man in a top hat walks near the house occasionally. You can buy some things from him. What things? Listen to first. You never listen to what I tell you. Don't get so steamed. I didn't want to offend you. You're the master of bringing people down. Sometimes I think I live with... What did you want to say about the trader? They say he's selling new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me perfumed soap bought me that bought last month. I don't have anything like that now. But you can take a look at our other useful items. Do you need the soap? We have an entire box of coal tar soup I bought with our ration cards. You're unbearable, Carl. A rope around your neck will serve you well. Why? Why so, why so angry at me? Go meet him and buy sweets for Martha. The poor thing hasn't had the treat for months. Sweets aren't a big deal. I'll get some. Take a deep breath. Okay, so everyone's leaving. Uh, can I talk to Alocious? For the aspirin. Please. Oh, here she comes. Come on, Alocious. Talk to me. Oh, he's not talking to me. Hello? Ask about the aspirin. Good day, Alocious. Do you have any aspirin? Why does everyone like the spirals? Can you obtain these medications? It breaks my heart to say this, but no. But I have no right to prescribe or receive medication. You have to go to the hospital or trade with those who don't need it. Well then. Okay, I guess. Uh, Mr. Papanedo, are you there? He's down there. Oh, that's Lucius. There's Papanedo. Is he leaving? Come on, leave, Papanedo. Okay, just pay attention to the trader. He got me right hand. When I was stealing his, the glasses that you you had glasses in there. God damn it, I don't like this. No whiskey jeans. Um, empty bottles. Open sweater. Uh where would you have it? Freaking glasses. Mm, cards. A razor, a watch, boots, and a record. Search so the bed. A book and a comb. Mm. Some eyeglasses. I'm not stealing anything anymore. These days are behind me. Don't be Papanedo. Okay. 
broken bottle. So we get new stuff for this guy. Uh, but there's no way to find the glasses. But at least it's not it's not ending. A rum, leather, tobacco, and soda. So we got a lot of shit there. Uh, she has a quest for me. Okay, let's go talk to her. I'm gonna give my daughter the aspirin. Hey, what are you doing there with my wife? Hi, handsome. Um, hello. Talk about the ad. Do you, get a lot of, do you get a lot of calls about that ad? At least 40. A pretty woman always attracts admirers, you know. But hello, she's the most promising candidate. I've always wanted to meet a renowned doctor. Do you think he knows a lot of celebrities? I don't know, but I think quite a few. Wonderful! I can't wait to host a dinner with his friends! What do you want? What do you want? You see right through me, dear Carl. That will be enough for now. Find me a bottle of something strong, will you? I'll pay you well. I'm bored. Do I have something? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't have alcohol. I'll give you some, but wait a minute. Um, Anna! Uh, sweets, aspirin, house Martha. Ah, oh, didn't buy the aspirin. Okay, so we gotta. Since her doll didn't give it to her in time, that was their timing thing there. Okay, will you play with me? Not now. Ask about the glasses. Have you seen Mr. Rannick's glasses, Martha? Who is it? The old man who lives in the second floor. No, it wasn't me, but if you give me some candy, I'll tell you who it was. Agree. Trading is bad, honey. Just let me know what you saw. I'll buy your sweets just because. Why did mom say that? I heard said you have to buy perfume for her first and then everything else. I want candy, daddy. Okay, where's the fucking trader? I need candy to solve everything. Uh, okay. Uh, screw you, Papanedo. Let me profile you till the trader arrives. And what? We have new things here? Task for booze. For five hundred dollars, how much? Damn it! I shouldn't have sold. I shouldn't have sold it. I had some, but I sold it. Uh, profile attendant. Hans Papanedo lives in apartment four. He's a male. He lives alone, and he's a uh, this thing. So you have this, and this, and this, and we oh no! Why? Why? What the hell? I clicked and, and I clicked to go back. What the hell? Uh, should I blackmail him to get some more money? I think I could. Uh, Maria Klaus Lucius. Where's Papanedo? I can't blackmail Papanedo. What? What? What happened? Why is she gone? What the hell happened? Maybe he went on the trip. I don't know. At least I got the money out of him. Jeez, I should blackmail this. Okay, trade. Give me the aspirin. And how much does... A Hey, she will give me 500 if- Ah, damn it, I should- I could steal something and some chocolate candy. There we go, okay. So now, run. Don't have my- They're sleeping, wake up! Uh, it's difficult to wear, sell jeans. He had jeans in there, damn it. What the hell happened to this guy? Is there a- uh... A history something profile rejected and correct that the subject doesn't live in the building I didn't even get to profile him holy crap he left oh damn it oh damn it come on Martha wake up okay then can I give you the aspirin uh, talk about health uh, yep, take this. I hope this is just the flu. Everyone is sick these days. Thank you. She'll feel better for a couple of days. Okay, now I have a quest for you. 
Patrick. Yes, father. To learn about what happened, I need to talk with you, father. What happened? I met a nice girl and want to ask her out. The first night of the Lights of Hope will take place in a couple of days. Actors from the capital arrive too. Wait, who's that girl? Andrea Korczyk. She's beautiful and smart. She likes going to the theater. I asked, I heard she wants to go to the opening night. This is my chance, father. I don't have enough money for the tickets. How much? Oh, uh, this is big money. Uh, postpone decision. Let's render this question later. I have a lot to do now. Ask about the classes. You've seen glass that belong to an old man that lives at the second floor, Patrick. No, sorry, I have to go. You have to go, you son of a bitch. Where's my daughter? Wake up! Date night, 12 hours, okay. Uh, do you have anything uh, uh, more cheap that I can buy? To give to her. Uh, let me check. No, that's wine, still expensive, so nope. Nope. Uh, I don't want to give him the money because I'm gonna need them. And I lost a good opportunity with Papanedo. I could make some money out of him. Oh, Martha. Uh, ask about the classes. Agree. Uh, no, no, no. I should offer the candy. That's my bad. Ask about the glasses. Ag ah! What am I doing? Come on. You can do this. Ask about the glasses. Offer the candy. Here's your candy, love. I saw Patrick take the glass from under the table in the kitchen. He cleaned them with his sleeve, tried one, then put them in his pocket. I see, Patrick. You won't tell him off, will you, Dad? I knew he, he was he did it. Yes, Father. Ask about the glasses. What did you want with Rannick's glasses, Patrick? I haven't done anything. I know they were found under the table in the kitchen. Give them back at once. Until the old man called the police and accused of us of robbery. Okay, here it is. I wear them at the university to look older and smarter. I didn't know the old man would make a scene about this. I wanted to give them back, honest. You're trying to look older or smarter. Use your brain instead of pearl glasses. Now get out of here. Okay, uh, Mark! Mark, get your glasses, dude. Where are you? What do you want from the archivist? Talk about the glasses. Have you found my glasses? I found them. Here they are. Uh, should I go with honesty or... Uh, no, let's go. You're a liar. My wife and I search every nook and cranny. Your place is filthy though. I wonder if your wife has ever cleaned those nooks and crannies. I'll complain about the, insa the insanitary conditions in the house and they'll fire you. The glass is strained. People these days are nasty, not like when I was young. I'm sorry, man. Jesus, should have, should have gone with the truth. So, drunk and happy, chocolate candy. Ah, she needs some. My wife needs some candy. Sorry, I gave them. I gave them to my daughter. I have a chocolate bar. Do you need the chocolate bar? Maybe. Anna. No, not you, asshole. Get out of here. I want to talk to my wife. What, Carl? Talk about sweets for Martha. Not satisfied. Ah. Uh. Okay, that wasn't it. I need to find what the exclamation mark is. Learn about what happened. Martha feels worse, Carl. The aspirin didn't help. She needs a doctor. Find a doctor. You want me to take Martha to the doctor? Visit her doctor already. He said to give her aspirin and clean her nose with a dish soap. With soap, Carl? How can I clean a kid's nose with soap? Find a good doctor for our daughter. I know one. Alocious. Oh, I'm still, I'm still uh, in bad mood about what happened to, to Papanedo. I wanted to make more money out of him. Why does Alocious door doesn't work anymore? Alocious, wake the fuck up! Oh, finally, Alocious. Yes. Hello. Talk about Martha's illness. Alocious, my doctor, my daughter is sick. Can you examine her? Of course, I'll examine her. It's my duty. I'm a doctor. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So what do we have now? Uh, is anyone here? 
Uh, please leave. This is a schemer's house, right? Okay, no one's here. Let's get in. Does she see me doing it? Okay, get in. There's no place. Oh, there is a place for a camera over there. Put one. Uh, where's everyone else? A locious chicken, my daughter. These guys are there, so no, no big problem. Are they coming? Just wait a minute. Mm, uh, oh, Maria Schemer is coming. Run. Okay, so what do we have? We gotta buy some shit. We got the date night that should give my money to my son. No, son, sorry. I won't give you money for your date. But what's wrong? What's wrong with my daughter? Wait, I need to think. I'll let you know when I'm ready to talk. Okay, so shit. Hi, handsome. Uh, hello. I don't have alcohol. And this also left. And no one wants to move in my building. So what am I supposed to do? Whoop, there we go. Classic, she's 30. Judging by newspaper article is an adventure, one should expect anything from her. Sure. Uh, I can put the cameras in the to, in the thing over down there. Till the trader comes back. Yeah, zoom in. There we go. Alright, uh, she's gonna new message received. Uh, what? What is it? Ah, it's in the mailbox. Okay, go. Ah, oh, there's a locious. Okay. Alocious. Hello. What's wrong with my daughter? I don't want to scare you, but Martha isn't well. She has a bibacillar bi rails in the lower half of both lungs. She needs antibiotics ASAP. And as much as I love domestic medicine, she needs the imported stuff. Local meditation will only make it worse, and it's already serious. Delays could result in a fatality. It's 20,000 per curse. Sorry, but I couldn't find anything cheaper. Quotes, prescription, regulations, I'm risking a lot to help you, baby. 20,000. Oh, I will never get that much money. How the hell? Even if I profile everyone. It was going well, but now it's now it's scary. Uh, theater scandal, the first evening of performance of the capital play on Love and Peace resulted in a scandal. Part of the audience left before the end. Patient portray real people, not silly stories that have nothing to do with reality, said Bruno Rouse, head of Plant Number no. One's recreation department. The theater administration promised to shut down and play ensure future plays don't upset the workers. The voice of truth. Two. Okay. Uh, once every three years, great actors come to our no Nowheresville and receive gold welcome. And Love and Peace's latest play premiere at the local theater was shut down when raging miners refused to watch the love story. It's hard to blame them, there's no place for feelings in the life of a common laborer. Just work. Quarrels and grocery store lines. But comrades, let's not allow slavery to take away our aesthetic, our aesthetic sensitivity. Go to the theater. Okay, can I call again? Maybe I can make some money out of that. What do you want? It's illegal to possess foreign music. Well, Papanedo is gone. So, no worries there. The, the number... No. I can't dial it again. So... Is there anyone else I can report to get some money? Uh, spend money for this. That was the worst part. Profile attendant. Clara. She lives in apartment 2. As a female, she lives with a locious pack. Occupation unemployed. Yeah, unemployed. And she likes to drink. Okay, give me some money. Uh... Damn you, Papanedo. I hate you. Uh, what else? What else do I have? Uh, back. Don't have anything. Okay, we got everything from here. You can, uh, Mr. Cla uh, Mr. Alocious. With this, you live in apartment 2, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to report, I want to profile you. Alocia Spock lives in apartment 2. He's a male, he lives with... Uh, Clara. Your occupation is a doctor. 
And you like that. There we go. Uh, do we have anything else? Okay, you're done. You're good. Okay, nothing more. Let's go back. Okay, the trader's here, finally. So we need the... Uh, call the minister and report the completion of the task. So I, uh, yeah, have to call them. Tell them about uh, Mr. Schemer. But first, I need to buy a chocolate bar or candy. Uh, chocolate bar, whiskey, a book. There's no thing that she asked me for. Where is it? Oh, jeans are super expensive now that they're illegal. Uh, there's no chocolate candy, so... Or is there? No, there are no chocolate candy. So, what else do I need from you? Chocolate candy. Let's buy some candy for my wife. She needs booze. And I need money for my daughter. So, there are no illegal actions that I could blackmail people for. Nope. No government directive. It's illegal to cry. Or for more than three people to assemble outside of a main square. It's illegal to cry, seriously. Am I going to prosecute people because of the, because they're crying? Let's just call the ministry and call it a day for now. Dial the number. Ministry of Order, it's time to act, Comrade Carl. You must evict Klaus Schemer. Uh, ask about Schemer. Ex eviction methods. How can I evict Schemer? Talk with him. He'll be fine with if, when he's moving out. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. Schemer's wife. What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. What do you think? Do what you think is best. Okay, so. Now starts the Schemer's quest. And I don't have Papanedo. I thought that she would uh, give me a way out. But apparently not. Is Schemer answering his wife? They're both coming this way. Uh, Maria... Klaus. Hello! Ask what he needs. Tell me straight, Carl. Did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Uh, yep, I did. You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. I'll get right to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from their apartment? That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this spooky hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you going to do? Offer help? I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? Insist on talking. I'm not asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being haunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop, to that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand? What's an absentee certificate? You should know such things, Carl. This is a document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway station, ports, and road with checkpoints are all close to me. Uh, so why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received the response from the ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the data update. They said I could obtain them there. I, wa I went to the archives. They said there are no documents left. I spent a week in the line to see an inspector about submitting a detention application. Two months later, I was told I'd used the wrong form of my application, and they were out of the one I needed. Damn it. You mean the documents are lost in the archives? Yeah, the documents are in the archives. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the archives. So, let me see what I can do. I gotta talk to, gotta talk to the archivist for this. And this time I'm gonna try telling him the truth. Because he already has a bad... Uh, uh, I already have a bad reputation with him and I wanna, I wanna him to feel better. Okay, talk about help skimmer. Did you work in the archives, old man? What is it to you? You know, this this even without me. I need your help. One good man can obtain a document from the archives. What are you talking about? The documents of good people aren't taken to the archives. Don't feed me a line. Tell the true story. I'm talking about Schemer from apartment one. He fell from grace with the state. They took his substantive certificate and now he's stuck here. I don't like him. Oh shit. He works in the tobacco shop but has never given me tobacco for free. He behaves like this and speaks rudely because he's afraid. Help me. 
Bring me, bring me his absentee certificate. They'll call. They can't live without it. Understand? Deal. But you owe me a bottle of whiskey. I won't be able to access the, the confiscated documents without it. Uh, so I need to get him some uh, whiskey. Buy skimmer's papers for Ranek. Let's find a way to evict. Damn it! So. What do you want, son? Yes, father. Learn about what happened. Are you in trouble at the university, son? Yes, dad. Dean has ordered us to take part in another fundraiser. It's a lot of money and I have no idea where to get it. How much? 15,000. What? Are they crazy? Our people don't have that kind of money. If things continue to go like this, we'll have no one left to teach. So perhaps that's the intent. We'll see what we can do. Worst case scenario, you'll get a job. The country needs miners. Very funny, dad. Thanks a lot. Martha is sick, Patrick. We need a lot of money to save her. And who knows how long it will take. A time might come when we need more and more money. I understand, Dad. So, okay. For now... Uh, yeah, I'm not, not gonna get that much money for you. So, okay. I'm gonna see what happened. For now, that was... It's not gonna be... Uh, such long episode in the future. Just that special occasion just to... To start over and uh, progress the game so we don't waste too many episodes doing the same things over and over again. Uh, and... Uh, to accept this as an apology for last week, but I didn't have an episode on a Wednesday, so I feel like it's two of them in one. Yeah? <laughs> so, hey, I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you everybody so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas! <laughs>